Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to this Monday's episode of Wellness Mondays with Dr. Wayne Pickering. Dr. Pickering is a nutritional performance coach. He's a life management consultant and a disease prevention specialist. He teaches you how to grow older and better, not old and bitter. His purpose is to teach you how to be the healthiest person on the planet, not the wealthiest person in the grave. And, of course, Dr. Wayne's motto is, if you want to be tough, you have to eat good stuff. How Wayne, true. thank you for being back thank on the you. show. Thank you. How true that is, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's wonderful knowing that we can go through our life never worrying about age being our cage. Mm -hmm. Everybody lets age be their cage. There's nothing. I was telling uh, the young lady who helped so much here, Crystal, in, in behind the scenes to make that all happen, mm -hmm. that uh, when we're born until we're three, our immune system is building and our, we're, we're getting all different things. And then when we're uh, 10 to 14, puberty sets in. 18 to 25, that's our peak alkaline uh, state in our bodies, right, in mm -hmm. our lives. That's when people can, like kids, can they can uh, drink all night, they can work two jobs, go to school, uh, party and do all that, get two hours sleep, come back and do it again the next day. Mm -hmm. But after a while, at 25, something significant happens. That's when you start losing 1% of your ability to utilize oxygen in your body per year thereafter. At 35, you start losing 1% of your muscle mass. At 40, you, you tend to get into the highest level of your acid state. And that's when the disease proliferates in our life, breast cancer, vaginal issues, uh, prostate problems. And then at 45, we start having endocrine gland problems, issues. And then uh, when you're 60, here's something that happens when we're 60. When we're born, our thymus gland, which governs our immune system, is 250 grams. Mm -hmm. When we're 60, it's down to less than 5 grams. Wow. So that's why that's when you... That's significant. Yes. So that when you cut yourself, as you get older, it takes longer to heal, do you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. And disease takes longer to heal. So disease has nothing to do with age. It, it's, the, it's a condition. Mm -hmm. So even though, that, but when we get older, our body just goes through these physiological changes. Mm -hmm. That's why when I shared with you that book, The World Keys to Health and Long Life by Dr. J Bernard Jansen, mm -hmm. it gives people a level of hope mm -hmm. to move on. Mm -hmm. So just naturally, normally, we're going through cycles, so let's don't rush the process. Mm -hmm. let's not would you rush agree? The process. Yes. I would absolutely agree. Yeah. And Dr. Wayne, I want you to go into the healing process a little bit more. You touched on it briefly. All right. First of all, the body is not getting sick; it's producing a healing crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, health and disease are not enemies; they're actually a must for each other to be cohesive. Do you see the body? Mm -hmm. So. A crisis comes when the body is so overloaded with toxic waste that it goes through these elimination processes and it goes by way of the bloodstream and gets it out of the elimination organs of the bowels, the lungs, the kidneys, the skin, mm -hmm. the nasal passages, we mm -hmm. sneeze, and the throat and the ears and all of that. So the body's just producing a healing crisis to get that, get you in balance. Everything is the sake of survival within the body. Does that make sense? It makes absolute sense. Yeah. And Dr. Wayne, we're going to finish this talk up on healing when we get back from okay. the commercial breaks. Thank Please you. stay with us, everybody, for this week's episode of Wellness Monday.